Hi. It's dark, I know. I'm sitting in the car. It's night. And I was thinking what is the point where where I know or where everybody can know just a an example of how one can know if he or she is conscious and alive in the fifth fifth dimension. How could you tell? How could you tell? Yeah, and first came to my mind passed through my mind this fact or this idea that uh, when you for example having troubles difficulties if you if you don't have money or you have no peace or something which is missing if you are in the middle of, of somewhere and feeling that there's so much that you lack and you're waiting for some solution and fifth dimension seems to you like or the ascension it seems to you yeah so waiting for something or not waiting for anything special just hoping for something some 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 gain some satisfaction or something and there's still so much of it is missing you know and I always say you know if you want to attract what you like you can't concentrate on what's missing so what is it in this missing that is that is it is that you have you already have what is it that you really have of this I mean something positive something that you already have in this lack in this missing what's this what is this most peaceful thing that you still here have in the middle of the war what is it this treasure that you have when you don't have anything at all what is this that you've gained today? What have you gained today? You know, even if you haven't gained anything at all, what have you gained? What is what is the ground? Where is the ground? Where, where where the laws laws of people prevent you from from living on the ground instead you're living in the concepts that they have about the ground and you have to pay somebody because this is what the concepts dictate you have somebody owns it you don't and they own it and they will kill you for it they will send you away they they will chase you all around the world they'll never leave you one minute free because they own the land Yeah, the owners, you owners, owners of the land, made of sand and own the land, made of sand and own the land, yeah. Spirits, you're not spirits if you own anything, owning is just an idea, anyway.
it's a bad idea too. Anyway, I'm just trying to find a, to suggest that we concentrate on the land that we don't have. What is the land that we don't own? How can we concentrate? This is easy. It's everywhere. Right, so concentrating on the reason about the land is connecting to the earth, is connecting to all living, all life on earth. But when you think about the land as a conceptual thing, what is your attitude about the land? You find out that you st when you start with, with the land that you have, with the, the land that there is, that when you concentrate on it, it grows. It is growing. The concentrating on anything that is more humble, more basic, more glamorous, in fact, more divine, concentrate on the land as a concept creates a community. It creates a community of people who live on the earth and non, don't live on the concept that we inherited. Just connecting around the idea that the land is free and so are we is creating a community of, of, of sort. So this creating of community is in fact what I call the new earth. The new earth, not only is the earth ascending, it's not only that it's changing and shifting from the third to fifth dimension, not only the fourth dimension is, is cancelled, there won't be a fourth dimension, there won't be a passage necessary from from third to fourth to fifth, because fourth dimension is like the passage. <coughs> That's why evil cannot exist, because the fourth dimension is where evil could exist, in the passage. They couldn't make the passage, they fell through the hole of spaciousness. They had to hold to something on spa in spaciousness, and that's why you fall, because there's, there's no gravity in spaciousness, but if you create gravity, then you fall. So to hold to the fifth dimension is in fact hold to what is in every matter to find the substructure that is available underneath all the evil, underneath all the con existing concepts or beyond them. So the idea about fifth dimension, the difference between third and fifth dimension is when you fall in, four, in third dimension then you can pick up, pick it up at any point because it's only a story and the story can be taken to where it grows naturally grows naturally when you stick to the ground, when you stick to what you do have, when you stick to what you achieve, when you stick to what you enjoy, when you stick to what your dream goes for, when you stick to this marvel when you remember where you are and who you are. you become very happy anyway. So you know that you then you know that you are in the fifth dimension.